Hi, welcome to the eighth episode of Turbo Devlog. Today I'm gonna talk about my plans for the future regarding my game dev career. This time it will be more of a talk rather than showing my progress, so in some places I'll put some gameplay video from games I'm playing lately. I hope that will make this video at least a bit entertaining. I have to pull my shit together. I was supposed to have playable demo of my game by the end of September. We're two thirds in October and my game is nowhere near that state. So I decided, I'm giving myself two weeks. If after that time, I won't have something that I could give to someone and get his or hers feedback, I'm suspending the project. My plan at the beginning was to work on my game for 12 months, but I've got lost lately. I lost my enthusiasm. I've watched many videos on the subject of indie game development. I knew that it is very hard to stay motivated, especially if you work alone on the project. This is why I decided to make this channel in the first place, and my Twitter account. Sure, promoting my game as early as possible was also in my mind, but the primary reason was that I wanted a platform where I could share my progress. I decided that I will post a devlog every week, more or less accurately in Mondays. This was supposed to give me bonus motivation. In what way, you may ask? Well, first, I'm a human being. I like to see numbers go up. So whenever I uploaded a video, I was excited to see how much better it performed compared to the previous ones. But this was kinda a double-edged sword. Doing that, I ran the risk of starting making a game for YouTube views and subs where it should be the opposite. I think that I managed to avoid this trap, at least for now. And the second argument for regular uploading devlogs was that I would find people that would accompany in my journey. Don't get me wrong, I have very supportive family, my girlfriend helps me a lot too when I'm down, but well, you may say that I needed a bigger audience and more people who would nag me if I was being lazy. I have 19 subs so far, with average of 30 views for video, and on Twitter I have 42 followers. I know that's not much, but knowing that those people spend their free time watching my videos, even if it's 5 minutes per week, well, it's kinda awesome. And when someone decides to write, and when someone decides to write a comment, well, that really helps me stay motivated. So as I said, I have to pull my shit together. I have created a list of bare minimum mechanics for my game. There are five main objectives on this list. Working on quest system, skill system, shooting mechanic, clicking mechanic, creating one good looking level and coding a safe system. I don't know about you, but for me, doing this kind of lists really motivates me for the action. So starting from tomorrow, which would be 20th October, I'm really getting to work. As for today, currently I am working on this video. Later in the day, I'm planning to make my first ever Let's Play where I'm gonna play Wasteland 3. I'm kinda nervous about this, but we'll see how it goes. If you watch my game analysis videos and you liked it, you should know that besides doing Let's Plays, I will also analyze and maybe critique the game. And that's it for today. Thank you for your time. If you like what I do, consider subscribing for more content. I'm also very open to criticism and be glad for any advices in the comments. If weekly updates are not enough for you, you should check out my Twitter where I'm trying to post every day. With that said, thank you for your time. Till the next time.